Okay. Now, I uh, wanted to add a little bit more on my review of the various things and, and some thoughts on it. This side. Now, this particular sword right here, the ninja sword, whatever you want to call it, pull all the way out, as you can see. It's been made by various manufacturers. I mean, it's made by United Cutlery, um, let's see, United Cutlery, uh, Bud K, a lot of other people, and to give you a sense of, of how many people have made this sword in different quality, I'm, I got right here the Cabela's catalog in 2009, and I want to show you something in here. Here we go. Put it on flower mode. As you see, slimline machete. Well that. This is the 2009 Cabela's catalog. It's, you know, it tells you everything else. But what I really wanted to show you was right here where it says it's made out of super tough carbon steel. And at that time it was thirty nine dollars for that sword. You know. This, you know, this sword has been made by a lot of people. The one I have, it's an early production model. It's an early production model. And, you know, it's, it's made out of ASU-6 steel. Now, ASU-6 steel is, it's uh, better than 440 and stuff like that. And so, this is a pretty good sword. Now, pe people, um, I've all, now people will make comments like, Oh, well, you know, it's steel, it's stainless steel. I'm like, well, I got something else here. Got this machete here. This, I got online. I'm not going to say where I bought it from, so I don't want to dog anyone out, but this is 1085 carbon steel. Yeah. See? A little wood hand, I'll put some electrical tape around it. But I want to show you something. See how easy I can bend this? Not sure if you can see it really well, but get you that bend. Not a very good weapon to be using against zombies. Also, I've used it on things like wood, brat, you know, bushes and crap like that, and you know what happened? Thing bounced off. Didn't even um, chop any wood. But this, on the other hand, this, only paid $10 for, it can do just about anything besides actually cut like wood, like straight down like an axe. So, the point I'm trying to get at is that, you know, you have to, when you get a, a weapon, you have to decide what you really want. Do you want to buy into hype, or do you want to actually get something that you're going to use? This, this machete, it costs quite a bit more than this actual sword, even though they're both the same length, just about this, I can actually get two hands around the sword. This, one-handed only. And have a better sheath to the sword. And, also, I've got the Bud K catalog here. Also, Bud K, they sell the same sword. It's made out of 420. Because, as I said, I mean, it's sold in various different things. Let's see, let's get in here. No, apparently it's not in this catalog, but out of the way, Bud K sells this same machete sword for about like 20 bucks, something like that. It comes with a twin pair, but if you do get it, make sure you get the right one. I mean, this one is made out of like ASU 6, or ASU 8, I mean, under the grips it says something like that. It's made out of ASU 8 or something like that. Out of the way, it's, it's very strong stuff here. And ASU 8 or 6 is what they use for the cold steel pocket knives and their little handle knife and stuff like that. And I know some of y'all are going to be saying, like, well, I, if it's over a certain length, uh, it, does that mean it's more brittle? I'm like, possibly. Possibly. I mean, this, I haven't found it to be that brittle. I mean, I've used it 
for quite a few things, and it's never filled me. Never. I mean, in my Christmas video, yeah, I did bend when I hit that um, that gallon jug, but you know, that was a pretty hard jug. I mean, even my uh, two-handed katana mache by Cold Steel with M55 carbon steel, it even has trouble with those. So, uh, so I'm just saying, you gotta think ahead. So, you know, if you see this for sale, and it's the one that's ASU 8, and you want to buy something that you're going to actually use for cutting, like jugs, bushes, you know, all that good stuff like that, get it. Don't sit there and buy into the hype that all that, that just because it's stainless steel, it can't do the job, because it will. It will. Because this so-called Latin machete here, you know what it did? It didn't even done nothing for me. I mean, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make a review later on about this and some different ones. But you know, I'm just saying, you know, if I was, if I would got this, the actual cold steel one, the Latin machete, which I've heard bad things about it too. But if I would have got that, and I would have been using it. I mean, I would have been very disappointed. I mean, me personally, I want to get something that I'm gonna use and I can use it and everything else versus something like this where I can have to use it and have fun you know so I'm just saying if you wanna if you see this for sale and you wanna get it and once you wanna use it your first sword get it have fun go out there chop water jugs chop watermelons do all that fun stuff cause this is a light cutting sword and oh yeah ASU 6 or 8 I believe it's, it's 6 but either way one of those its carbon content is 0.65% carbon content, so it has a very high carbon content in it. It's not like stainless steel where there's like just about no carbon in it. This, this one, and the other ones like that, they have a pretty good high carbon count, so if you use it, still on, yep. So if you use it, it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna break that easily. And I can test to it, its strength, because this is just one piece of metal. It's not, you know, a tang or anything you have to worry about, it's just one piece of cut, uh, of cast ASU 6 metal. So, I guess that's it. So, as I said, I mean, if you want to get a carbon steel blade, and you're actually using it for hard work, go ahead and get it. I'm not saying carbon steel blades are bad. I'm just saying, I mean, this requires just, like, no maintenance. I can just sit there, use this, in the rain, the snow, salt water, wherever I want. Don't have to worry about it. Just wipe it off with some water and dry it off. That's it. My carbon steel blades, I have to, you know, make sure I maintain them, because if I don't, they'll rust. And they rust very quickly, because carbon steel, I've seen some of my carbon steel blades where I was just using it, and within like a half hour, there was already rust coming on it. So, I'm just saying, if you want to just get a weapon that's fun, get this. Perfect. And I guess that's about it. I had made a previous video, but it didn't turn out too good, so... I just had to redo it. So I guess that's about it. I'm out.